It looks like a futuristic chimney, or even a strand of DNA. But look closer. It's a wind turbine. Designed by a company called Blue Green Pacific, it's a first-generation prototype called Maggie. It's meant to help power homes by using the wind. Now meet the second generation, called Lisa, and its creator, Todd Pellman. The way wind turbines work is they produce power relative to the size of the wind turbine. That and the wind speeds are your greatest factors of the power you can get from the wind. So if you have a lot of wind, then you can power your house, right? Not exactly. In order to get something that would match close to what your daily electrical usage is, the turbine itself would be half the size of your house, or very unsightly. So what's up with the shape? The proportions of Lisa are such that they match what's typically found on top of roofs, chimneys, and another kind of roof junk and visual noise you would see in a city. And obviously we think that um, this design is very elegant and good looking. So Todd, Lisa must be less expensive than Maggie is if I'm a guy who wants a windmill on my roof. Ballpark it for me. Between two and three thousand costs for you, but there's more to it than just the turbine itself. Right, like installation, something San Francisco homeowner Chris Baudouin is willing to pay for. He likes the idea so much, he's having two leases installed on his roof. And it only took 20 years for it to sink in for me, <laughs> that there's wind is a pretty constant thing here. So how much can Baudouin expect to save? We hope to see maybe somewhere between 200 and 600 kilowatt hours annually. That's about 10% of an average household. But for Baudouin, it's not all about the electricity bill. Their first question is, well, when are you going to get your money back? Or how long do you think it's going to take? Or how much money are you going to save? And that, to be perfectly honest, is not what's driven me in this project. The conversation needs to be changed to that we have to start taking responsibility on a micro scale. What should we be doing individually? So, you know, to reduce our dependence on uh, fossil fuels. And now that he's the first one in the neighborhood with his own wind turbines, what's the verdict? I wasn't expecting them to look as cool as they are. They're like works of art to me, you know? I mean, it's like, uh, I'm, I don't want to say it, but I, don't, I almost don't care if they don't spin. <laughs> Just to, 